You're a nice person. Give me something really shallow. Impress me. For me, if they haven't seen Star Wars, it's just like, nope, nope, sorry. If you start picking on the stuff that I like. If the other person says that they think video games are for kids, I'll probably just pay for the check and just walk out. People that are like too into, or into at all, even reality television, I just don't get it. I think you can have different tastes than the person that you're dating, as long as you respect each other. You don't need to, to break up because I like country music and I like dubstep. As long as you're talking like top 40 contemporary country, you're at the bottom of the barrel when you're stage coaching it. Bad fashion choices I think is a big red flag for me. When someone thinks they look really nice in something when they don't. Is that mean? Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of mean. I don't date short guys. I'm like, oh, he's hot. Oh, he's 5'4", not so much. I have dated a couple girls that are taller than me. I'm okay with it. A small deal breaker for me is not having nice teeth because I had to go through, you know, a few years to get this. They're beautiful teeth. Thank you. No, I don't care about hygiene. Oh, I care so much about hygiene. When, you know, when you're like a little like, Ooh, like a little spicy. No. I can't deal with spacers. What is what they're called? Gauges. Oh, God. What do you do with your ears in the future, you fool? Like if a guy has a small dick, it's like a... What if his heart is big? If I see a girl who has problems or is gonna drag the ex along, it's baggage. It's baggage. Also a problem when they physically bring baggage to the date. I was with someone very briefly who loved cocaine. The things that you have to go through when you're with somebody who really likes cocaine, it's the biggest pain in the ass. I mean, how, how do you compete with cocaine? You can't compete with cocaine. Sure, drinking, drugs, some, some of the fun, but like when you have an obsession, oh, you're not going to work now because yeah. You, you're doing too many drugs, that's an issue. Also, if you hate gays, that's no good. You have a lot of other problems if you're racist or homophobic. I would say no to a racist. I mean, if they're hot, I'm just kidding. I really hate when people try to tell me about my own culture before I say anything about it. Don't tell me how much you know about kimchi. When they're not nice to their friends. It's a it, good indicator of how they'll be within the relationship. I'm a very social person, so I like somebody that is just as social. I have a few tests that I do with guys when I'm dating them. I'll have dinner with a bunch of friends and I'll take him along with me and then I will excuse myself to the rest Room. If they're not talking and they're not conversing with somebody, it's like a turn off. I don't like people who are constantly on their cell phones. Like this. Do not keep your cell phone on the table during a date. I don't like if a girl expects me to pay for every single meal. I'm not a millionaire. Not a sugar daddy? Yeah, I'm not a sugar daddy. I can't even sugar well, myself. <laughs> something I've experienced out on the field is uh, something I'm calling emotional catfishing. Girls are looking so smiley in their photos and then I've been on a date with them and they're just completely detached. You have to be a little vulnerable. I also don't like it when people touch my belly. Do you know what that is? I don't, I'm testing to see if my belly's strong, which yes. it's not. I don't think I have that many deal breakers. At the end of the day, you're not gonna find someone that you made up. The things that I think that I may not like in someone, I'm open to be proven wrong, except for the reality TV one. Everybody needs a little bit of love, that's what I think. Unless you have a small dick, don't Unless call you it. have a small dick. Deal breaker. That's a deal. That's a deal breaker. That's a deal breaker.